When I first saw the mask, I remember only that I found it so frightening. But from where did this memory come? Already five years had passed since the defeat of Xiphos, the bringer of death. The world was at peace. But for me, that had little meaning. Avalonia was holding a fete to celebrate its fifth year of liberty. I think it's all over. It is now. And the winner is... Swordmaster Dow! <laughs> the passage of time has not doubted my blade or my skills. Are there no others? No more young heroes willing to challenge an old man? Aha! You there. The son of my accomplished pupil, Claymore, I believe. So, are you ready to try your hand against your father's master? Oh, blimey! An invite from Swordmaster Dow himself! He's only gone and challenged Claymore's son. Claymore, being one of the famous warriors, what defeated Xyphos, the Deathbringer! And what's more, he was a pupil of Swordmaster Dow, too! Goddess only knows what kind of match we're in for here! I have been speaking with your father. Tomorrow will be your 16th birthday, I hear. When a young man of our land comes of age, he must undertake the walk of the worthy. It is tradition. You must focus your mind and spirit on the ways of the soul now. Come, I will instruct you.
Yes, you are strong. You are well scented. You may even possess the inner tranquility required to execute the master stroke technique that I taught your father long ago. father begets tiger son you have inherited your father's command of the blade since claymore lost his arm he is no longer able to wield a sword but you the kingdom of avalonia will be fortunate indeed to count you amongst its warriors <laughs> the Royal Festival of Swordsmanship, commemorating the fifth anniversary of the defeat of Cyphus the Deathbringer! Phew. Looked good out there, lad. Aye, that you did. Of course, old Dao was just playing with you, but still. If only I hadn't messed up my arm so badly, eh? Then I could have trained you up good and sharp, and maybe it would have been you playing with Dao. Ah, there you are. That last bout was quite a spectacle. I'm rather impressed. Prince Anlas. It's been a long time. You're a good deal tougher now than when you used to train under me, by the looks of it. Quite right. You'll find I never miss a day's training. So don't imagine you can outdo me, just because you come from heroic stock. We should spar together sometime. Forgive me for asking, Your Highness, but uh, where's Queen Katana? I haven't seen Her Majesty all day. Mother is... I am told she has been feeling unwell in recent days. She confines herself to her chamber and refuses to see anyone. 
including myself. Hmm. I was thinking of dropping in and saying how do, but uh, maybe I'll save it for another time. Well, it'll be getting dark soon, son. Time to head home. Good to see you looking so well, Your Highness. You take care now. You go on home ahead of me, all right? I have an errand to run. It's your 16th birthday tomorrow after all. I suppose I'd best find you a present of some sort, eh? That last kaboom woke you, sleepyhead. The next spell I had lined up could have hurt. I bet you're tired from your turn with old Dao yesterday, eh? But you know what today is, don't you? Aye, that it is. Your 16th birthday, lad. The day the Queen will order you to take the walk of the worthy, and you'll become a man. So, don't keep Her Majesty waiting, son. Get yourself sorted, and head over to the castle.
felicitations, birthday boy. How peculiar for you to be visiting the castle alone. I imagine you're here to meet with Mother. How unfortunate. She's made it quite clear that she does not wish to entertain visitors at present. She has even refused to grant me an audience. Her own son. Sorry. I am desperately worried about her. Your Highness, I trust all is tickety boom. Ah, Minister Misericord. My young friend here is celebrating his 16th birthday today. Accordingly, he has come for an audience with Mother. Aha, uh -huh. I see. Uh, unfortunately, the Queen is somewhat <coughs> unavailable. Yes, this does give rise to a most vexing dilemma. What to do? What to do? Bingo! I have it. I shall momentarily assume the role of Her Majesty and convey the procedure of the walk in her place. Excellent, Minister. I myself must away. Training beckons, you understand. So I shall leave this matter in your capable hands. I shall come, if I may, somewhat directly to the... Uh, yes, to, to the um, point. As you have now come of age, you are required to undertake the walk of the worthy. It is a long-standing tradition of the Kingdom of Avalonia. A trial to establish your merit, if you will. Beyond the plains to the north, you will find the notorious Caliburn Cave. The walk of the worthy merely requires you to return safely from its innermost chamber. The worth of worth. I have little doubt that you, one of Avalonia's most promising young talents, will succeed and return triumphant. Hello there, young man. The Colonel told us you'd be heading out of town today. You're off to take the walk, aren't you? Right, well, I'd better open the gates then. Heading off to Caliburn Cave already, are you, lad? I'd like to say I'll go with you, but... Uh... That wouldn't make it much of a trial now, would it? No, lad. This is something you've got to do on your own. I'll be thinking of you, though. I may even remember to raise a glass to you down the pub. <laughs> Typical Claymore. Same as ever. Well, good luck on the walk. Just follow the path across the plains and you'll be at Caliburn Cave before you know it.